a Trump administration lawyer defending the latest travel ban on Friday was pressed to explain how the court could separate the president's latest tweets from the government's assertions that its new policy does not target Muslims. In lively, aggressive questions, several judges on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit in Richmond, Virginia, pointed to the president's tweets last week sharing inflammatory anti-Muslim videos posted by a far-right British activist. Do we just ignore reality and look at the legality to determine how to handle this case? Asked Judge James A. Wynn Jr. The president has continued to make statements that some regard as anti-Muslim, noted Judge Diana Gribben Motz. Deputy Assistant Attorney General Hashim Mupin acknowledged the president's commentary on Twitter represents official statements but said the content of those messages is not legally relevant. The third iteration of the ban, he said, is based on months-long, worldwide review of information other countries share with the United States to vet visa applications. There's no way you can conclude this is a Muslim ban, Mupin told the court during a two-hour oral argument at the appeals court. Even as Mupin faced tough questions about the president's statements, the judges acknowledged that no matter their findings, the Supreme Court is watching and has already suggested it will have the final word. In the lead-up to the argument on Friday, the administration got a big boost from the Supreme Court, which granted the president's request to fully enforce the ban for certain residents of six mostly Muslim countries while challenges in lower courts play out. Two lower courts had partially blocked the third iteration of the president's order, permitting the administration to keep out only those without close ties to people or institutions in the United States. But the unsigned opinion from the Supreme Court on Monday lifted injunctions issued by judges in Hawaii and Maryland and allowed the government to deny visas even if the applicants have bona fide relationships, a definition that includes grandparents, cousins, aunts, and brothers-in-law. The justices said they expect the appeals courts to act quickly with appropriate dispatch. The U.S. Supreme Court's decision allowing President Donald Trump's third travel ban to take effect at least for now has intensified the attention on a legal showdown Wednesday afternoon before three judges in Seattle who have previously been cool to the administration's efforts. 9th U.S. The U.S. Supreme Court's decision allowing President Donald Trump's third travel ban to take effect at least for now has intensified the attention on a legal showdown Wednesday afternoon before three judges in Seattle who have previously been cool to the administration's efforts. 9th U.S. The arguments Friday at the Fourth Circuit come just two days after the Hawaii challenge was heard by a three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit in Seattle. Although the justices did not include their reasoning on Monday, the order is a positive sign for the administration if the High Court is asked to review the merits of the policy. Only two justices, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Sonia Sotomayor, noted their dissent.